guys. Welcome back. I'm testing out a new resin today that I've got in the mail. It is called Delcom Crystal Clear. That is part B and that is part A. It's a much thicker resin than what I'm used to using. So I've got it sitting here in a water bath. It's only got a 30 minute pot life, so working time. So I am going to get a wriggle on and I'll tell you about things as I go, but I think I just need to get a wriggle on. So I'm going for turquoise, but what I'm after is, um, I want a very pale looking turquoise. I don't want it too dark. All my um, coasters have been really dark and I just want something really pale, hopefully a little bit see-through. So that's the turquoise blue in the Lorez. This one is white satin in the Lorez. And I'm just putting a, a spoonful of that in. Hopefully that's enough. And I'm not going to put in too much colour. I want a lot of clear. I'm just going to keep stirring this because it's sitting in hot water. So it kind of makes it go off faster. But I want it to be still runny. Now this is just the crushed glass I made in teal. If you want to see how I make my coloured crushed glass, uh, I did a video on it um, a little while back. So just check that out. I'm just wiping the bottom of my cup there so I don't drip right now I just want so it's pretty thick it's well thicker than what I'm used to and it's got quite a lot of bubbles in it I just want a third <clears throat> excuse me a third of a cup I don't want too much color this time I find that if I put too much color in um, it just it all just comes in and washes over the top so I try not to have too much colour. Uh, the blue turquoise hasn't got quite as much as the, the white. There we go, it's about a third. So, um, yeah, being thicker, the mica powder just kind of sticks to it better, I guess. It, no, it doesn't fly away and get in your face like it did when I was using um, a thinner resin. So we'll see what happens. Oh, the good thing about this resin though, like I did two good things so far, I'm still testing it. I did a flower, a 3D flower in it, um, and it worked really well because it's a nice thick consistency. The other good thing about it is it is heat resistant to 80 degrees Celsius. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but 80 degrees Celsius, so it's plenty good enough to put um, you know, a hot cup of coffee or tea, as long as it's got some milk or a splash of cold water in it, because boiling water is 100 degrees. So when you pour your cuppa, you are gonna to have to cool it down with um, you know, some milk or some water before you put it on your coaster, because 100 degrees is too much for it to handle, straight you know, boiling from the kettle. Okay, so that's my colors. Got a heap of clear there. Actually, I better decant some of that before it all sets. If you leave a big container of resin like that, it's likely to set up a lot faster. I'm just gonna put it back in the hot water to keep it, it's just hot tap water, just to keep it, um, well, runny, really. Because I figure, I mean, I don't know here, you can let me know if I'm wrong, but I just figure that if it's a really thick resin, um, how is it going to blend with the other colors? Right, let's try for just a tiny little bit along the edge. Don't want a lot. All my others have had way too much color on them and it all just runs in and I lose my little clear center that I want. So trying again with a thicker mix, slightly less color. I don't think I'm going to worry about pushing it into the edges. Uh, the next layer hopefully will do that. I just feel like I have to get a wriggle on because it's so thick. Catch the drips. 
So that was a third of a cup and I've got plenty to go around. Just thicken up some of them that are a little bit thinner than the others just so that it's kind of even. And my cup's just about empty. Do you like when your coaster mold are made? I love it. I'm still trying to perfect it. I'm, I'm still getting like slightly ragged edges um, because when I'm pouring the silicone in, um, it's getting underneath the blanks. So when I take the blanks out, I'm getting slightly jagged edges on the side there because I have to trim them. And it doesn't matter what I trim them with, it sort of cuts into the, um, into the silicone and it leaves a little bit of a jagged edge. So yeah, still working on that. Working on perfecting it. Hopefully I'll get there. <laughs> if not, I'll just have to um, pay someone to design them for me, I guess. Right, here we go, a little puddle of white in the middle. See, I'm not having much colour at all, hey, and I'm going to fill it up with clear. So that's a third of turquoise and a third of the white, cups-wise. Uh, these cups are 120 mils, 4 ounces. So they're not huge, they don't hold a lot. Okay, so that's that one done. I'm gonna give this a stir. I'll take it out of the water. Um, yeah, the, the hotter it is, the faster it sets. So I'm gonna get a, a wriggle on. You see the bubbles on top, which is a good thing. They do kind of come to the top, so I'll just give those a torch. Okay, here we go. Pouring in the clear from up high. Hopefully it'll just kind of push everything out. Whoops, oh, that was a bit much. Julie, what are you thinking, woman? Oh, it's just about overflowing. I was um, watching what it was doing and wasn't watching how much I was putting in there. I wonder if I can take some out. Do it from the middle because there's no colour in the middle. I'm trying to hurry. I just feel as if this resin's setting up already. Okay, there we go. Let's do the next one. Try and get it from up high to kind of push back. Just let it touch the sides. Okay, now I need some more. I have to keep filling this up. I probably need about Half a cup, I guess, in each. I don't know if it's this resin or if it's just me, but I can kind of taste it in the back of my throat. It says on the bottle that it's not a not as um, you know nasty as some of the other resins. But I can taste it. Oops, oh you were a bit full too. I didn't realise until it was too late how full they were. I'll take a bit out of you too. And then I better torch as soon as I've done this. It must be a doming resin because it's not overflowing. Nope, I've got enough. You're all over, you're full too. Not noticing it until it's um, too late. I won't put so much in you. And you haven't got as much. No, you haven't. You need a bit more. Go to the edges. Okay, so that's all my resin gone. That was 380 grams. I don't really want to do this. I'm destroying my patterns. I still have to put my stone in though. All right, let me just get a wipe, a wet wipe. 
and clean my gloves before I pick up my torch. What are you doing? You're not supposed to be climbing over the top of the white like that. Let's give it a torch and pop some bubbles. I think I've left enough room for my stone, my crushed mirror. Hope so. She might wait a little while. See, that's all coming in again. <clears throat> um, shall I wait? Shall I wait? Um, no, let's do it. Let's do it. See if I can get a tiny bit more out for this one. This one hasn't got as much in it. It kind of got left behind. Being the last one, it wasn't much left. So 380 grams for six coasters. Now it does depend on how big your coasters are, obviously. These coasters are about 11 centimetres wide and six millimeters deep so let's just put a level teaspoon in the middle I don't have any more to put over the top any more clear to put over the top so I'm just gonna have to like poke them down if they need poking down Loving the white in there. I'm just a bit worried that it might all vanish if that turquoise goes over the top. But you know, I hardly had any turquoise. Third of a cup for all of these. It's not much. Look at that one, that's already going over the top. Maybe I needed to wait until it thickened a bit more. I don't know. I, I always have this problem where it just goes over the top. Doesn't matter what I do goes over the top covers all my my pretty glass actually maybe it would be better if I waited in like another 10 minutes or so before I put the the stone on because then it'll have a chance to thicken a little bit more and maybe the stone will oh I, I don't know I have no idea. Now, let me just poke that down a little bit. Because I can see it's kind of poking through. You're okay. See, normally I would pour clear on the top of that to push the, the glitter or the stone or whatever it is that I'm using down but I haven't got any left so it's pretty I like the colors I do but that turquoise oh my gosh doesn't matter what I do it floats over the top although it's still early days it could still change just clean up my mess here as I go all right uh, let's torch again I don't know if you can see from up there, but there's some millions of little bubbles popping. You can see them all popping madly from the torch. Okay. Um, what now, what now, what now? This one's got a lot more white showing through. That white's really pretty, isn't it? So pretty. What are you doing? What's what are you? What is that? I don't know. Maybe a little bit of fluff, maybe. Okay. Um. I can't really get you down for a close up. I don't want to take my gloves off until I've finished my cleaning up. I'll just wipe my hands, and then I'll see if I can take you in for a, a close up. 
Now, turquoise for some reason always looks really blue through the screen and I'm looking at them through the screen now and yes they do look very blue they're not they are a lovely light teal color I wish you could see the true color but it's just not showing up if it stayed like that I'd be happy does anyone know how to keep the blue or turquoise or whatever it is on the outside and stop it from floating across the top? Any of you resin experts out there know how to do that? See on the left there it's staying white but it's gone over the top of my rock. Does anybody know how to stop that from happening? Please let me know. It's getting frustrating every every pour I'm doing is doing the same thing <laughs> oh well all right let's see how it changes tomorrow um, hopefully some more white will show through wish I had a little bit more clear just to put over the top to break up that over the top of my glass never mind it is what it is maybe I can try and push it away with a spoon. <laughs> I'll have a play with it. Anyway, uh, I'll see you tomorrow for the unmoulding and we'll see what happens, hey? Wish me luck. Hey guys, I thought I'd just show you real quick how I edge these babies. Uh, I have shown you on quite a few of the videos, but people are still saying, how did you paint the edges if I don't do it on every video? So, I'll just show you what I'm using and then I will fast forward through. Oops, put that on focus. This is the Montmartre Silver. Why won't you focus? Anyway, that's it there. It's just a little tub. And what I do is, I'll put it, there. actually, I'll just put it here so that you can see. I just pour a little bit. I've already done it in this one. I'll just pour a little bit in into the lid. And I'm using my silver Krylon pen, which is empty. And I'm just using that as a paintbrush. So pretty basic, really. So that's it there.